What is up, you guys? It is your girl, Valerie, coming to you with another Two Cent Topics video where I give you my Two Cent on Hot Topics. Not that you asked for it, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. So you guys know we had to review Real Housewives of Potomac that aired last night on Bravo. And um, yeah, we all want to talk about the fight. So let's do the rundown really quick. Okay, so. We are starting off the episode with Mia um, on the phone with Peter. Peter is just expressing that he has beef with Wendy. The next thing that we have Ashley is speaking about the home buying process. I remember in an, an earlier episode, she is alluding to she needs Michael's money to qualify for the loan. I don't know. I'm not really buying that. Ashley just seems like a smart girl and she seems very very calculated all right so the next scene that we have you could hear mia at this point they're in miami you can hear mia and her friend um talking loudly in the next room mia to me is basically being a shitty friend putting her friend on blast like saying basically saying she don't have shit like you're asking me for deodorant a razor da, da, da. she was just saying in her confessional piece like by the time you ask me for the sixth item take your ass to cvs which don't get me wrong. I understand that point because I've had a needy friend before. It's not fun. It's irritating. My issue is, why are you so loud? Why are you trying to put on for these people that really don't care about you um, in reference to your friend? I don't like that. Okay. So next thing we have Giselle, me and Ashley. They pick back up on this Peter conversation and Giselle is saying that Peter don't really fuck with Wendy like that. He's just telling her what she want to hear basically, but he don't plan on going to business with Wendy. All right, the next section, section, the next scene that we have, we are headed to the restaurant, we're in the car, and there was a scene that I wanted to point out where Mia's friend is saying something, like, trying to add to the conversation, and Wendy goes, I'm not talking to you. Like, bitch, what? I did not like that. I had said earlier in another um, review that I had recorded, something about their friendship is off, and we know now that they're not friends anymore, but... um. When she first introduced Jacqueline, she did say that Jacqueline didn't like her at first. And maybe some of those feelings are still lingering. I don't know. So, um, as we're at, they're at the table and Candace's name is brought up in reference to like, you know, where's Candace? Where's, when is she going to get here? And then they also make more comments about Chris and him touching on Ashu's friend inappropriately. And I was going to say some ignorant shit like her friend is ugly, but that's ignorant we know dudes will cheat with anybody, right? I also want to say we know too much about reality TV because the way that they're doing this, it feels too much like uh, the Monique and Chris situation uh, a couple seasons ago when they was trying to plot, or I ain't gonna say they, I feel like it was Giselle, when Giselle was trying to plot and say that um, Monique was cheating on her husband i don't know the chris storyline about him being inappropriate feels fake and it feels forced and candace already clocked it that's why she on the ass all right so now we're still at the dinner table and giselle asks sharice like you know do you and karen have any any um i can't think of the word i'm trying to say basically like i seen y'all was cool at the airport you know is there any hope for y'all having a conversation talking and karen's just like no um and at this point i think sharice is also kind of just like no like no um because we know that and karen knows that she just wants to have the conversation due to filming karen did bring up like i haven't talked to you in five years like you haven't tried to talk to me in five years why do you want to talk now girl we moved on we're in two separate spaces and let it just be what it is um i will say that karen being so extra and spicy when it comes to sharice does lend itself to there being something more going on other than they just grew apart now we know that sharice probably just want to have a conversation to have something to bring to the show to get more camera time to potentially become a full-time housewife next next season you know sharice really don't care if it really has been five years and she haven't reached out she don't care karen know it and i feel like karen is not going to allow them to use her karen asks is smart with her 59 year old ass her ass be there with they ass like okay all right um going back to the conversation Sharice 
when Giselle was asking, like, have y'all talked or whatever, Sharice alluded to the conversation that her and Wendy was having um, earlier that day when Wendy asked Karen, do she feel like Sharice is coming from a genuine place? And in my opinion, watching it, Wendy's reaction was a bit extra. Um, Wendy was just feeling like, you know, Sharice, you are deflecting like your issue is not with me your issue is with Karen like why don't you address Karen are you scared of her are you scared of her like it was given I'm not gonna lie for me that was antagonizing like no I'm not scared of her why is you doing so much but um nonetheless we are moving on so as she was saying like you know are you scared of her are you scared of her Wendy did hop into the conversation I mean not Wendy I'm sorry Mia did hop into the conversation and started to say like Wendy 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 like to me watching it as a viewer I felt like she was just saying like Wendy calm down girl you was doing too much like all of that is not necessary and so that's when Wendy turns her attention to Mia and she goes you telling me to calm down I'm paraphrasing but <laughs> she's just she's like you know you telling me to calm down but when we were in the car you were saying you understood where Karen was coming from so which one is it gonna be like stand on what you said and I understand that from Wendy like girl stand on what you said but I also understand when somebody is just doing too much I am a person where two things can be right at the same time like two things can be true at the same time yes I understand where Karen is coming from but right now in this moment you doing a lot but that's just me okay and so um we after they kind of calmed down a little bit Sharice did state you know like I already spoke on this Sharice did state that she would like to know why Karen not talking to her and Karen was just like it's been five years girl we not friends we done moved on we done drifted apart why is we having this conversation now we already talked about that all right so next scene we cut to um uh Peter finally walks to the table when Peter walks to the table he doesn't from what they're showing doesn't make it awkward doesn't point Wendy out he just kind of say hey to everybody and then walk away after Peter walked away Mia and Sharice walks over to Peter Sharice is stating that she wanted to go over to Peter because she wanted to do a little wine cellar she wanted his expert opinion and then Mia went over there to be nosy <laughs> to be like you know what's your issue with Wendy like just being nosy right as Wendy is over, not Wendy, I keep on getting Mia and Wendy mixed up, but as Mia is over there talking to Peter, her friend Jacqueline is at the table, um, just giving out some information that I feel like, bro, no, you do not say this to these co-workers. This is Mia's co-workers and none of them are real friends to me. Y'all see how they flip flop each season whenever it's convenient. And I just feel like that was inappropriate for her to say in front of these ladies, even if what she was saying was 100% true. And I feel like what she was saying has some truth to it. Just not in front of those ladies. But as we can see, or as I can see how their relationship is, is some sort of contention there. And I understand why she said that. Because uh, something about their friendship is off. Okay. So Mia comes back to the table and says that Peter has an issue with Wendy. And Wendy is like, girl, I don't beef with men. So if he got a problem with me, he need to be calling my husband. Okay. He need to be calling Eddie. Um, and Mia kind of like jumps like, girl, don't do that. Cause that's my family. And, and don't do that. <laughs> like not in front of me. Don't do that. So um Mia is also just trying to let Wendy know like you know you need to this is business you should have responded to him you know Peter is somebody that you can learn from that you can train under like don't you think if you are in talks with him for business you should have called him and let him know that you were coming that you were going to be here you just popped up and Wendy is like I don't have to let Peter know nothing I'm coming here on vacation I'm not coming here on business um I don't have to let no him know None of that. Me and my husband don't operate like that. If he want to do some business with me, my husband needs to be there. And da, 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 da. and she was just like, if you and your husband operate like that, where you can talk to men and he's not there, then that's what y'all do. But me and my husband, we don't do it like that. Which, pause really quick. I just feel like some some ways we think are so antiquated. Like, why do your husband need to be there? I don't know. Like, I get what Wendy is saying, but at the same time, like, girl, do he really need to be there? Like, didn't you talk to Peter before on your own without your husband being there? Okay. But anyway, so as that is going on, Mia, I feel like the drink throat was just 
out of nowhere. It was like, me and my husband don't do that. We don't rock like that. If we're doing business. My husband going to be right here. Um, and that's just how it's going to be. And I feel like it was like Mia just threw the drink. Like, bitch, don't talk about my husband. Like, and I had to rewatch it to see what she said about her husband. I did not see anything that was said about Mia's husband that warranted a drink being thrown. Right. So after the drink was thrown, Wendy is yelling in the background. At this point, Mia is quiet. Mia is not saying anything, but Wendy is still yelling in the background. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. All this yada, 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 yada. Like, and so Robin pipes up. You hear Robin in the background. Robin and Giselle is kind of like co-signing Mia's behavior. Um, Robin then calls Gis- Robin then calls Wendy um, an antagonist against Mia. Now, this is where I feel like we might have some differencing of opinions. Robin states, Wendy, if you don't want to fight, shut up. She says, stop saying, um, she's basically like, stop egging her on. Stop egging her on if you don't want to, um, if you don't want to fight. My thing is, I agree with Robin. If you're not going to fight, you just want to bark at her. You're not going to fight. Shut up. I agree with that. I really, really do. I also feel like if somebody threw a drink at me, Wendy is smart. Wendy ain't no dummy. She know that she can't fight on TV. I feel like that her career is playing in the back of her head. So this is how she's letting her anger out because this bitch just threw a drink on me for no fucking reason. So yeah, I'm going to keep verbally attacking you. I'm going to verbally say what I got to say, bitch, because I can't touch you. So I understand Wendy not shutting the fuck up because I can't touch your ass, bitch. So you finna hear what I got to say and get mad. What you gonna do, bitch? So as I said earlier, two things can be true at the same time. If you don't want to fight, if you know you're not gonna fight, shut up. It's not making no better. But at the same time, this bitch threw a drink on me and I can't do nothing about it. So guess what? I'm gonna talk my shit. Bitch, you crazy face, bitch. Now what? So <laughs> I understand, Wendy. Like, now let's get on to the get on to the get on. Get on to the get on. Um, Wendy is stating that um as I said, Wendy's still talking to shit in the background. And Mia stating that she threw her drink at Wendy because Wendy was talking about her husband. I feel like that was a cop out. I really feel like that was a cop out. Um, it's other reasons why she threw that drink. And the, the stuff she was saying about her husband probably was a cherry on top. But these bitches is not friends. So when you're not friends with nobody, the slightest thing is going to tick you off. And that's what happened, in my opinion. Wendy and Mia is not friends. And the way they be trying to talk shit about each other, do a little fake ass apology and then keep on going. It's something that's always going to pop off because I don't like you, bitch. Like what? Like I'm y'all. Come on now. Now. Let's talk about Robin and Giselle. I was starting to like Robin this season. I thought Robin was going to pull away. I thought Robin was going to be the voice of reason. This episode, they let me down because it's no... Them... (sighs) Wendy did not warrant none of that. And just like I feel about... Uh, Monique and Candace and y'all love bringing up the Monique and Candace they owe Monique an apology what Monique did was wrong period we don't have to keep on going back and forth about that what Monique did was wrong this show is about verbally cutting a bitch because one they're too old to be fighting and they should be more accomplished in their lives so you're supposed to cut a bitch with your words okay so Monique hitting Candace when I will die on this hill that ass whooping, if anything, should have went to Giselle. Candace was, um, I can't think of the right word. Candace got hit, in my opinion, for no reason. And the people that keep on trying to justify Monique's actions, y'all should be justifying Mia's. But y'all not. Because, because the goalpost is going to move for who you like. And y'all don't want to admit that. Monique was wrong. Monique is not deserve no apology. And Mia is wrong. They should not be hitting each other, period. But um, yeah, Giselle and Robin dead wrong. Because if you're against violence, you are against violence, period. Y'all see how I said Monique was wrong and Mia was wrong? No. And it seems like the green eye bandits is okay with 
um, Mia throwing that drink on her. And that shit is not okay. Okay, you guys, I didn't want to make this too long. Let's have this conversation in the comment section. What do you guys think about today, Sunday's episode? Um, yeah, let me know in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next one.